Well, NDP leader Marit Stiles joins us now with more reaction to the forward government's uh, latest budget. Thank you so much for joining us, Marit. Uh, obviously, you're going to have your concerns and criticisms mm -hmm. about this uh, budget. Where do you think it fell short? Well, I think if people were looking for change, if you were looking for change because you want to see better health care, you want a family physician, or uh, you were looking for affordable home, perhaps, this budget is not for you. Uh, I also think it was a, a fiscally irresponsible budget. We, we are seeing far more spending, but we're not actually getting a lot for it. And I think we're going to continue to see uh, dollars hemorrhage out of things like our public health care system and into private shareholder pockets. Well, uh, as you heard, this is the largest uh, budget, $214.5 billion. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that the uh, finance minister said is, you know, during affordability crisis, he didn't want to make things more unaffordable, so he didn't raise taxes. Uh, if you were the premier, would you have raised taxes at a time when people can't afford in many of the uh, daily things like um, heating your home or getting your groceries. Look, I think people are struggling right now, right? No question. But what this budget is hiding are additional costs for people, right? So they're not spending in a smart way. Uh, we have people who are going to be spending more. Uh, as we know, we see the ads in our subway system here in Toronto right now. Uh, they're going to spend. They're going to start spending to see family physicians. They're spending more on all kinds of things, and they're not getting a whole lot back. There's not, nothing here that really addresses that rising cost of living. And I think that's what most people are struggling with. So, again, spending a lot of money, but not actually getting much for that. But this is a, a government that historically has been accused of not spending enough money, but here they are spending record amounts of money, and then here's the criticism flowing. It seems... Um it, 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 it seems that you, you know you're, you want them to spend uh, yeah. less, about, or you want them to spend more and get more services. But here they are—they're actually are spending more money, and they are investing 190 billion dollars to expand highways, transit, homes, uh, critical infrastructure. These are the things that I want them to spend smarter. Spend I want smarter. them to spend smarter. You know what? Um, we, uh, all of us, uh, have to manage our own finances. Mm -hmm. uh, we understand what this, how this works. This is a government that's making choices, and I would say those choices aren't working very well for Ontarians, and there's nothing in here that really changes that direction. So this is a government that I think is out of ideas. Uh, you know, as I go around the province, one thing that really strikes me is how much innovation is out there, um, particularly in our public health care system. Hospitals are working really hard to do things better, um, but they're being forced to spend a lot of money on private nursing agencies because because this government has made some choices that are driving nurses out of our health care system. These are the things I would like to see this government doing better. I, they had a choice. They've made the wrong ones. And now it seems like they just are out of ideas. It, well, one of the things that people do want to see is they want to see more transit. And this is a government that is making historic investments in transit. We've got, I think, four different subway lines. I know a lot of people are dealing with a lot of traffic headaches right now. Uh, but when it talks about investing in our future, um, these are the things that people want and I'm wondering uh, what your what your reaction is to that and is is that not something that is going to benefit uh, our society and make things a little bit less expensive hey, I'm all for expanding transit I mean no question and we do need to invest in infrastructure what wasn't very clear in this budget is where that money is being spent um, so for example there are communities all across this province, smaller towns and, and rural municipalities that are really struggling to be able to upkeep uh, their roads, their bridges. And this government and, free, free, I'm going to be honest, other governments before them uh, downloaded all these responsibilities onto municipalities. I think a lot of those towns, uh, other cities outside of Toronto, were really hoping for a deal similar to what Toronto got, uh, to, some, to a new deal uh, for, for municipalities. They didn't get it. And right now, it's not really clear whether, where those infrastructure dollars are going and how much it's going to cost and, frankly, how long some of these things are going to take. As you said, uh, we are seeing some investment there, but we're also seeing folks like the CEO of Metrolinx making over a million dollars now and not delivering the results that I think Ontarians are looking for. They, they did increase the funding for housing enabling municipal infrastructure projects by a billion dollars. Uh, you, you wanted to see more? more for housing? Oh, well, I mean, look, we're about to lose... $357 million in federal funding uh, in the next couple days if we don't move faster on building the truly affordable housing Ontarians need. What I heard from the Premier over the last week or so t tells me he either, well, tells me he's totally out of touch with where Ontarians are at in terms of their housing needs. And government needs to get back in the business of making sure we're building some of that housing. NDP leader, Mart Stiles, thanks Thank for you. coming in.